Addy, that's wonderful. Yeah, Addish, Addish, Addy. You can tell me all about it when I get home, okay? Bye bye. I don't believe it. Addy got invited to a reception where she's gonna meet Prince Charles and Princess Di. Hey, cool. He's the Prince of Wales, Matthew. I know. I'm almost six. I just don't believe it. She's gonna meet a real prince and princess. I mean, this is every girl's dream. Are you gonna go to the party, too? No, I'm saving myself for Ronnie and Nancy. <laughs> I didn't get the dress. What do you mean you didn't get the dress? I couldn't find anything. Addie, you mean in all of New York City you couldn't find a dress to fit? Now, I know you are scrawny and hard to fit and all, honey, but <laughs> somewhere on the Isle of Manhattan there has been a dress that's gonna fit you, girl. Yeah, there's a dress that's perfect for me, but it costs $300. So? Well, I gave the sales lady my charge card, and when she ran it through the computer, the computer laughed. <laughs> and I cried. Well, honey, why didn't you just write her a check? Nell, my credit card is at the maximum. My checking account is at the minimum. I guess it's God's way of telling me not to buy a $300 dress. Bite your tongue. A loving God would never say something like that. <laughs> Forget it, Nell. I just won't go to the party. Oh, Addie, come on. You got to go to that reception. I mean, how, how many times are you gonna get a chance to meet Prince Charles and Princess Di, huh? Hey, look, I got invited to this reception. I'll get invited to another one. I'm not the only royal couple in the world. Addie, he's going to be king of England someday. I know. I don't want to meet him on the way up. <laughs> I mean, someday when he's king and I'm in London, I'll give him a call and take both of them out for drinks. And then I won't need a new dress. Oh, Addie, come on. You got to go to this reception. I mean, how often do you get a chance to meet royalty? Unless I run off and marry a duke or something, huh? You're right. Maybe I can find a dress on sale. Oh, Addie, Maybe please, you sale. can't do that. You can't do... Well, you got to do this first class. I mean, you can't buy a dress on sale. You'll spend the whole night feeling cheap. <laughs> and for once in your life, you don't want to feel that way. <laughs> Now, what else can I do? I mean, I have a retroactive pay raise, but I won't get that for another two weeks. Addie, I will loan you the money. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Addie, I couldn't. come on. I just got my share of the profits from selling the house in Glenlawn, and all the money is doing is just sitting there in the bank. Nell, that's very sweet, but it is not a good idea to borrow money from a friend. Addie, 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 that is an old wives' tale. And unfortunately, neither one of us is old wife, okay? <laughs> Nell, I have never borrowed money from a friend before, and I am not about to start now. Addie, you don't have any choice, okay? Now, you're going to be representing black people, women, skinny people. <laughs> New York is the entire United States of America. I tell you, that dress represents the hope for the entire free world. <laughs> Make that check out to Adelaide P. Wilson. I have known you since grade school. Now, where did that P come from? I made it up. It does sound real business-like, though, doesn't it? It sure does. Okay, I'm gonna make it out to Adelaide P. Wilson. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to sign it now, Q. Harper. The Q is for cute. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'll pick up the dress right after work tomorrow. There you go. Oh, Nell, I cannot thank you enough. Girl, I owe you big. No, Addie, this sort of makes up what I did to you in the ninth grade. 
What? Well, Addie, I'm the one that told uh, Jerry Wells that you stuffed tissue paper in your bra. <laughs> it was you? What are you so bad? You don't still do that, do you? Oh, have you been in my room? Yes, I know you still do it. You do, you do. Hey. All right, look, uh, I got your mail by mistake. Did you get any of mine? No, we have Mrs. Jacoby. <laughs> you got to help me. He's here. What are you in such a good mood about? Usually when there's a mess up with the mail, your jaw tightens and your eyes get meaner. I'll tell you why she's in a good mood. She's in a good mood because she just did a big favor for her very best friend. Oh, and I don't care. She just loaned me enough money to buy myself a new dress. I, I told you, it's nothing. You know, I never usually do favors for friends unless there's something in it for me. Maybe that's why I don't have any friends. <laughs> Now, I just want to thank you again. You are the most wonderful friend in the whole world. Oh, so what else is new? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to call the store and put that dress on hold. Okay. The most wonderful friend in the whole world? How much money did you loan her? Oh, who can remember? $300. <laughs> did you get her to sign a note? I don't need her to sign a note. She's my very best friend. That has nothing to do with money, don't you understand? Friends are friends, and business is business. You know, you you just know so little about friends. I don't need her to sign a note, because Addie's gonna pay me back. All right, look, just trust me, all right? Get her to sign a note. <laughs> all right, no, once I loaned a friend $500, and I didn't get him to sign a note. So he's driving down the street one day, and he's chewing on a piece of licorice. A piece breaks off, gets caught in his throat, he chokes and slumps over the wheel. And they said he died instantly. Marty, that's terrible. That's right. He never paid me back my $500. <laughs> well, Marty, nothing is going to happen to Addie. Nothing ruins a friendship faster than borrowing money. Wrong. Nothing ruins a friendship faster than going away for the weekend with your best friend's husband. <laughs> Get out. Nell, Nell, stay right there. I got the dress. I got Let me the see dress, it. and Let me you see are going to love it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh. oh, it's gorgeous. You're going to be the best dressed woman at that reception. Oh, Nell, thank you. And you know, I owe it all to you. You know, you were right. There is nothing wrong with borrowing money from a friend. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> you don't eat licorice, do you? <laughs> anything oh nothing it was just something that marty said yesterday but honey oh. believe me it was nothing oh okay <laughs> but you insist upon talking about it <laughs> marty said that borrowing money from a friend could cause big trouble <laughs> you ever heard anything so ridiculous in your life uh well since when did you start listening to what marty said oh i don't listen to anything, anything that marty says i didn't know no the people at work said the same thing <laughs> You told the people you work with you loaned me money? Now, how could you do that? I know those people. Oh, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, it, it just popped out. Popped out? What, somebody said hi, Nell, and you said I just loaned Addie $300? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> well, she told everybody at the office. Oh, Addie, will you relax? I didn't tell everybody at the office. Today is Friday. A lot of those people already gone home. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking for the ad you took out in the newspaper. Nell Harper loans $300 to no account deadbeat Addie Wilson. Oh, come on, give me the paper. I didn't take out an ad. I only mentioned it to a couple of people, and the only reason I did that is because I didn't want it to come between us. Nell, what makes you think this would come between us? Well, Addie, you said yourself that borrowing money from a friend could be dangerous. Yeah, but you changed my mind. And I'm glad I did because I would hate it that little piddling amount of pocket change would have come between us. So in the interest of our longtime friendship and also for your peace of mind, I just want you to sign this little piece of paper about the note on the lawn. You want me to sign a note? Yeah, well, Addie, wait. See, this is just as much for your good as mine. I mean, suppose I die. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's, let's rephrase that. What if I die? And Grandpapa says that you owe me $5,000. And the simple truth is, he'll only have to sue you for a measly $300. You don't trust me! Of course, I you Addie, do come on, will you trust, trust me? Addie, please, this is just a formality. I mean, I just simply wrote down the first words that came to my mind, you know? 
Whereas the party of the first part, <laughs> Adelaide P. Wilson, has accepted a legal responsibility of repayment to the party of the second part, Nell Q. Harper, the specific sum of money to okay, it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, Adam, okay, okay, this. okay, okay, all right. So I did have a little help from one of the guys down here. Which guy? Bud Levine. Well, I don't know exactly what he does at the office. I do know it has something to do with the legal department. He's head of it. <gasps> no, I didn't do that. Adam, please. No, wait, I was standing at the water cooler talking, and he overheard me. Well, who are you talking to? Him. Oh, Adam. Give me the paper. Adam, listen, give me the paper. Look, honey, listen. When I walk into that office, and I tell them that not only did you sign this, but that you paid me back, and that we're still very best friends, and then I tear this up right in front of their face, you know what they're going to think? They're going to think you're the most wonderful person in the world. Now sign it. <laughs> Addy Bud wants a copy for his files. <laughs> University, you know, to check with Dean Chance about how we're gonna get to the party. Mm -hmm. And my retroactive pay raise was there, and it came to nine hundred twenty-four dollars and sixty-two cents. Ah, and it is wonderful. So I bought new shoes to go with my dress. Uh oh. And a new purse. And uh. wait till you see these earrings. <gasps> Abby, they are so gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, guess what else I did? What? I wrote out a check. I know you wrote out a check <laughs> to pay two hundred dollars on my credit card. Tell me, Eddie, uh, just out of curiosity, do you have any of that $924.62 left? Oh, of course I do. Good. <laughs> you didn't think I'd forget about my best friend who loaned me the money for that dress, do you? No. What loan? No. Oh, the loan. God, I'm gonna slip my mind. <laughs> well, it didn't slip my mind. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-
I'm saving the dentist a couple stamps by hand delivering these appointment reminders for Joey oh. and Matt. <laughs> I figure that gives me a leg up on employee of the month. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> That's what a friend's for, huh? Well, friends are for not loaning money to. Says who? <laughs> I mean, I was a little short myself this month, but I ran into Addie and she loaned me 75 bucks. <laughs> you 75 bucks yeah that's a good friend huh yeah she only gave me 50. Addie lend you money too no I can't she is such a generous person now well she is I mean I think it's like really a blessing for Joey and Matthew to have her around as a role model oh yeah she's a godsend I'm telling you if it wasn't for her the boys would probably be in prison by now <laughs> what's the matter now you jealous that I borrowed the money from Addie instead of you Hmm? Well, the truth of the matter is, I was on my way up to ask you, but I ran into Addie first. You know. Hey, if you're really offended, I could use another 20. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Jeez, you're so touchy. It was just 75 bucks. You're still uptight, though. I could take a 10. Out! Oh, Mel? Yes, honey? What did you say to Matthew? He wouldn't lend me his crayons, and then he called me Eggs Benedict. <laughs> You're gonna have to figure it out for yourself, honey. I have problems of my own, okay? Hey, Matthew, Ain't no said it was okay. I did not. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Hi. Yeah. My nails are still wet. Uh, no, could you turn on the TV to the educational channel, please? Oh, sure. Glad to. You see, I was watching the best show on TV. I just hope I didn't miss the end of it. You were at the manicures for an awfully long time, Addie. Uh, yeah. Well, before my manicure, I got a pedicure. <laughs> hey, you want to turn that on for me, please? Shh, turn it on, please. This is Public Supported Television's Pledge Week. Oh, darn. I missed the end of the show. Oh, well, I better start getting ready. Boy, where does the time go? I just don't know. I thought, where does the time go? I just don't know. <laughs> Your support brings you our program. And we'd like to thank those that have already contributed. Gloria Leon, $5. John and Mary Connors, $5. Joe Merrillson, $10. And a special thank you to Adelaide P. Wilson for her generous pledge of $100. $100 of Adelaide P. Wilson? That's right. <laughs> That's the kind of generosity that keeps this station alive. Wait till Bud hears about this. I got everybody's mail for this. I... Just get in here, please. Addie's in the other room, so please, just keep your voice down, okay? I can't. I'm a tenor. Yeah, you just keep your voice down. What's wrong, anyway? Addie is spending money like a drunken sailor. <laughs> what? If I had loaned her any more money, she would have gone out and built a hospital. I get it now. You're still upset about the loan, right? I told you, get a note. I got a note. But Addie has a new purse. She has new earrings. And if you take off those new shoes I bought her, you'll see where the rest of my money went. All right, well, look, the party's tonight, right? It's like Cinderella, so don't ruin her for her. But the minute she comes home, nail her for the money. I'm going to go upstairs to Mrs. Jacoby. Do you know she's being audited? <laughs> Nell? Nell? Yes, Addie? Nell, can I use some of your hand lotion? Why don't you take it all, Addie? You can pay me back. One finger at a time. <laughs> yes. Yes, Addie Wilson lives here. Limousine service? <laughs> Downstairs, huh? Well, uh, Princess Adelaide will be right now. Bye. Oh, Cinderella? <laughs> what do you think? Addie, I can't put into words what I think. <laughs> Was that the limousine? Yeah. I didn't know there was a bus drive. <laughs> I know. It's a little extravagant, but hey, 
I got the money. You, you got the money. Yeah, you got the money. Speaking of which, uh, do you have change for a 50? Of course I do. You know, I made the money. I bailed out Chrysler. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just that I want to tip the chauffeur a 20. Just a 20? Oh. Here you go. Here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Here you go. Mm -hmm. 50. There you go. Thanks a lot, Mel. Oh, Mel. You know, this is going to be the most exciting night of my life. And I owe it all to you. You certainly do. <laughs> Listen here, Adelaide Wilson, I don't care what you have to say. Now, you give me back my money, you give it to me right now. No. <laughs> That's too harsh. Nell! Addie, look. Nell, it was incredible. I'm going to Nell, be perfectly perfectly honest, honest with, with you. Oh, Nell, if I live to be 100 years old, I will never, ever, ever forget this night. Nell, Nell, I ate pheasant under glass. And I danced. Oh, what am I saying? I danced. I waltzed. Oh, Nell. Nell, it was just like being in the movies. I mean, Prince Charles is really charming. And la Princess Dies, Lady in Waiting, came up to me, and she told me that she loved my dress. Did you tip her? <laughs> Now, you want to know what the best part of the whole evening was? No, tell me. <laughs> it was when Princess Dies, Lady in Waiting, ca came over to me and I told her that you were the best friend in the entire world. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, 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 wow, you talked about me. Talked about you? Nell, I told everybody at the whole party how you loaned me the money for this dress and how you told me to do everything first class. Oh, Mel, you are the most generous person in the world. Thank you for the most exciting night of my life. I just love you for this. Addie, uh, please stop this. <laughs> okay, Addie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the least I can do. I mean, you are my very best very friend. Very best friend. Very now, stop it. Right. Just stop it. You know, there was one other thing that I wanted to do. Best friends don't need notes. Thank you, Nell. Um, hey, where are the boys? Oh, I'll let Tonika spend the night at Grandpa's. Great. Hey, why don't we go out and do the town, honey? I got the limo for I two more hours. Come on, Nell. Come on. Oh, right. I don't have the exact bus there. <laughs> why don't Great. you just wait a little more? I just want to pull myself together, okay? Oh, okay. I'll be right and downstairs. I, I'll be right, I, I, right behind. Okay. Right behind. Don't worry, Buddy has a copy. <laughs>